Here's a 12 inch Windmere Oscillating Desk Fan. Model number is DF121M. Here it says this is a desk fan I got from the owner yesterday. But on this the sticker it says Apica Applica Consumer Products Inc. WDF 1200. This has the specs engraved on the plastic instead of a sticker, like the later Mazda's fan in. There's no year on the US sticker, I'm guessing 2000 or so, when Windmere switched to this logo from the capital letter font printed style. Windmere did have a cursive logo originally, and this is one of the last years of Windmere before the company was gone and here's the plug it does work and oscillates too I'll show that it has three speeds here now turn on It's a little slow, but starts up fast. This fan, I'm going to oil the motor when I take it apart for cleaning. There's an initial check and then I'll do a servicing video of it and I'll be back. Here it's time to take this fan apart for cleaning. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the screw of the ring and this will allow me to remove the front grill and the ring off. And then I'll take the blades off and the rear grill to take the motor apart for servicing. Now it's time for me to remove the front and rear motor covers off with the use of a Phelps head screwdriver. Here I'm using this screwdriver to remove the screws up front and then I'll remove the back motor cover too. Now I'm putting the screws back on the front of the motor here so they won't go away and I have them when it's time to put the front motor cover back on. Then I'll remove the back motor cover off with the Phelps head screwdriver too. There's no screw to remove the pin on this fan. After I removed the screw, all I had to do is slide the motor cover off for the, the design of this fan, which eliminates the need to have to pull the oscillating pin out. Here's the motor. After taking it 
completed part and coming soon will be me oiling this motor. Now I'll wash these parts with a garden hose here, and then I'll dry them out before final assembly. Off camera I used a brush to scrub the grills to get the dust off too. While the parts are being dried out from the wash, it's time for me to wipe the body with a damp cloth here before I oil the motor. I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver again to remove the screws from the oscillator assembly here to separate from the motor for easier oiling coming up. And I'll put the screws back on after oiling the motor. I have the screws on the table on the newspaper so I know that they're there. Once I remove the oscillating assembly from the motor, it's time to remove four screws on the back of the motor for easier access to the bearings to oil the motor. This requires some time to take the screws out and I had to leave these on the table on a newspaper where I will find them and I had to keep the washers after taking the screws out for reassembly. Now I'm able to get the motor apart for oiling of the motor and in the next part I'll show myself oiling the front and rear bearings of this fan. Here's the motor taken apart. Now I'm going to be using my 3-in-1 oil and oiling the rear bearing first. Now this is a slow process and can spill so I had to wipe after oiling the motor and be careful with both bearings. It's time to oil the front bearings of the motor now and I had to do it slowly like the rear bearings.
Now it's time to get the fan down so I can oil the front bearing of the motor. And after that, I'll be putting the motor back together with the screws that I took off for reassembly. It's time to put four screws back on along with the washers for the motor. And after this, I'll be putting the oscillating assembly back on. Here's the oscillator assembly being assembled back on again with the screws I took out and I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to do the reassembly process. I put the motor cover back on off camera because it took time to fit through the oscillating pin from the top and I'm using a Phillips head screwdriver to put the screw back onto the back and I'm repeating the same process for the front motor cover and then get to the rest of the assembly process. It's time to put the rear grill back on onto the rear motor cover and then I'll be putting the blades on 
the ring and the front grill on. Now I'm putting the ring onto the rear grill, and I did put the screw and ball together. Now it's time to loosen this a bit so I can make sure that the ring fits properly. And then I'll put the front grill on and tighten the screw again. Now I'm putting the front grill on here, and I'll tighten the screw with the Phelps head screwdriver to complete the assembly of the fan from cleaning.